Hello children. Today we are going to discuss about acids, bases and salts. Right? Third lesson. So, already we know little bit about acids, right? What are acids? Acids turn blue litmus into red color, right? And they are in sour in taste. This one we learned in 7th class, right? Uh, in 8th class, we learned that when it reacts with hydrogen, uh, when it reacts with metal, right? It releases hydrogen gas. Clear? So, that is the reason why pickles are not stored in metal containers. We have one question that why pickles are not stored in metal containers because of that reason it releases hydrogen gas, right? So, what are the examples for acids? Sour and taste means, see here, we can take lemon, orange, all this comes here, curd, hydrochloric acid, sulfuric acid, we know this, these are the acids, right? Lemon, orange, curd also, they are, they are acidic in nature, right? So, it releases hydrogen gas when react with metals. That is the reason pickles are not stored in metal container. Examples for, examples for lemon, uh, acids are lemon, orange, curd, hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. This is sulfuric acid. It is formula of hydrochloric acid. Next, bases. Bases are soapy in touch, bitter in taste, turns red litmus to blue. This one, may, first thing, turns red litmus to blue. Blue and base. Right? If it is turning means blue, it is base. Right? This is the logic to remember. Red litmus to blue means that is base. Right? They are soapy in touch, bitter in taste. Turns red litmus paper to blue lit blue color. Clear? Right? Examples for bases are toothpaste, soap, baking soda, sodium hydroxide. It's a chemical. These are all we know. Whatever present in our house. These are all bases. Examples for bases. Right? Already we know about this one. So, we will learn more about this in this lesson. Clear? Now, right? Next, natural indicators. Natural indicators means to test acid or base. What you use generally? It's a litmus paper, right? So, it's a natural extract of a plant, right? Uh, not only litmus paper, we use red cabbage uh, juice, turmeric solution. We did some ex uh, one experiment related to turmeric solution. Uh, on a paper add some turmeric and uh, after that after drying this turmeric solution if you add soap water to this right so it turns into red color okay so these are the natural indicators uh, litmus red cabbage turmeric solution petals of some flowers also acts as natural indicators which will find the given solution or given uh, material is acid or base okay right they contain weak dye molecules which are weak acid or base so these acts as acid base indicators so those are the natural indicators synthetic indicators which are prepared in lab first one is phenophthalene and methyl orange solution these are the synthetic indicators generally we use right Phenophthalene, original color is colorless solution. When it when you add phenophthalene to acid, there is no change in color. Ch color of the solution will not change, right? If you add base to the phenophthalene or you are adding phenophthalene to base, it turns into pink, which indicates it's a base solution, right? Methyl orange, which is in orange color, right? So, if you add acid to the methyl orange or a methyl orange to acid it turns into red if you add to base it turns into yellow so this is the nature of the phenophthalene and methyl orange solution so after that we have one lab act first lab activity to test the given solution is acid or base using uh, natural indicators and synthetic indicators what natural indicators we are using here only litmus paper red litmus and blue litmus and uh, synthetic indicators previously what we discussed methyl orange solution and phenophthalene solution clear so he, these are the common chemicals generally we use so you should remember these names hcl means hydrochloric acid 
H2SO4, Sulfuric Acid, HNO3, Nitric Acid, CH3COOH, Acetic Acid, NaOH, Sodium Hydroxide, KOH, Potassium Hydroxide, MgOH2, Magnesium Hydroxide, NH4OH, Ammonium Hydroxide, CaOH2, Calcium Hydroxide. Conclusion uh, here. So what is our live activity is? It is there in page number 36. See here. This is our lab activity to find. Given solution is acid or base. So if you fill the table, you will get some clarity about this. We know red litmus, blue litmus, right? So red litmus turn uh, which will not change color when it reacts with acid. So there is no change. Red litmus when it is reacting with the base, it turns into blue, right? Blue litmus paper turns to red when it reacts with acid, right? No change when it reacts with the base, okay? Phenophthalene solu solution, generally it is a colorless solution. So when it reacting with acid, no color will not change. So when it react with base, turns into pink, clear? Here, methyl orange solution turns to red when it react with acid. When it react with the base, it turns to yellow. Generally, we will get one mark question here. Clear? So, from this what you are concluding, what is common thing in acids? So, if you see HCl into H2SO4, HNO3, H is common, right? If you observe bases, OH is common. OH is common here. H is common here. OH is common. So, what is our conclusion from this lab activity? So, acids and bases change the color of the indicators, even though it is a natural indicator or base uh, synthetic indicator, right? So, one more uh, type of indicators are there. Those are all factory indicators. There are some substances who or, whose order changes in acidic or basic solution. Generally, we take onion paste here. Onion paste also change its order when it react with the acid. Right? So, simple one. Next, coming to important lab activity. Reaction of acid with the metal. Very, very important. Uh, generally, we get this question for 6 marks. Clear? Right. So, arrange the apparatus as shown in figure. Take a test tube. What we are adding? Zinc granules. So, which acts as a metal here. Right? We are taking zinc granules added to the test tube. And to this, we are adding hydrogen, sorry, sulf, hydrochloric acid. Right? After some time, what you will observe? Some bubbles are coming out of the gas, out of the liquid, this hydrochloric acid. So, try to escape from this test tube. Now close the test tube with rubber cork, uh, add a delivery tube to the rubber cork, right, insert, insert the delivery tube through the rubber cork, clear, right, whatever we are getting gas released from this test tube goes through this test uh, delivery tube only, right, so here what we are doing, we are checking this gas with a burning mastic or burning candle, right, so, whenever you bring burning candle near to the uh, this bubble, gas bubble, what will happen? It put off the burning candle with the pop sound, right? So, whenever you are getting pop sound, it is considered as hydrogen gas. If it is simply putting off nose with no sound, means that is CO2. So, here we are getting sound, top sound we are getting, no? So, that is hydrogen gas. So, from this what you are concluding, when metal react with acid, right, when metal react with acid, hydrogen gas is released. How you are checking hydrogen gas? If you bring burning match, burning candle or burning mastic, it put off with pop sound. Clear? So, we know the general procedure of our uh, lab activity, how to write. So, aim, what is our aim? To find the reaction of acid with metal. Material required, whatever shown in the picture, you have to write. Main thing, you have to include zinc and hydrochloric acid. Stad, retard, stad, test tube, delivery tube, cork, soap water, and burning mastic or burning cattle. Right? Procedure, we know how to write. So, reaction between zinc granules and hydrochloric acid is. So, 
HCl is acid, zinc acts as metal. So what we are getting is zinc chloride, right? Hydrogen gas. So what is our conclusion? Hydrogen gas is released when metal react with acid. Clear? Activity three. Aim reaction of base with the metal. Same uh, in the same test tube. What we are adding here is in the place of zinc granules, we are adding sodium hydroxide. In the place of zinc, we are adding here. I am adding sodium hydroxide. Right, remaining was same. Same. Uh, so first, to remove everything from the test tube. Add sodium hydroxide to this test tube. Add hydrochloric acid then close the rubber cork inside the delivery tube right so what you will get here same picture for that activity 3 whatever is there in activity 2 we have to take same material here right when sodium hydroxide react with the sodium so what we are doing in the place of HCl we are taking sodium hydroxide when metal react with the base sorry when metal react with base so this is our base and in the place of uh, it is metal so what we are getting here sodium zincate and a hydrogen gas this reaction is not possible for all the bases right so that's what it is not that much important so First lab activity, activity 2 is very very important as exam point of view, right. Next, activity 4 very important. Generally, we will we will get this reaction of acid with the carbonates or reaction of acid with the metal. Activity 2 or activity 4. Compulsory one question will be there in final exam, SSC board exam, right. See here what Take the test tube, add sodium carbonate, right, sodium carbonate. So, what is our aim? Reaction of acid with sodium carbo carbonate. So, here what I am taking sodium carbonate in the place of carbonate, acid, diluted hydrochloric acid, okay. So, after some time, bubble starts from the liquid, try to escape from the test tube. So, it goes through the delivery tube into the lime water calcium hydroxide right so this is thermometer we are checking is the temperature is increasing or not generally it increases it's a it releasing heat energy so he releasing heat energy means what type of process it is it is exothermic process right so see the equation whenever you are writing lab activity you should include one uh, chemical equation right Na2CO3 reacting with hydrogen chloride. So, you will form sodium chloride. Most reactive elements, sodium and chloride. If you are, if these two are there, they form salt immediately. Right? It acts as salt. Right? Water and a carbon dioxide. CO2 released in the test tube. Right? Which is escaping from this delivery tube and going to the calcium hydroxide. Calcium hydroxide is a colorless solution, right? It which turns after re, reacting with carbon dioxide, it turns into milky white. Okay. For testing carbon dioxide, we are having two tests. First one is reaction with mil, lime water turns into milky white. Or if you bring burning mastic, it put off with put off the flame. That is second test, right? So, this is second equation, calcium hydroxide reacting with CO2 releases calcium carbonate and water. Okay. Next one, reaction of acid with the metal hydrogen carbonate, same apparatus taken, add NH4 sodium hydrogen carbonate, sodium hydrogen carbonate, metal. So, what is our aim to check? Metal hydrogen carbonate. So, what we are taking in the place of that? sodium hydrogen carbonate sodium also one type of metal right so added diluted hydrochloric acid to the test tube right what will happen after that it starts releasing bubbles so these are transferred to the lime water through delivery tube right so this is our 
equation NaHCO3 plus hydrochloric acid so again sodium plus chloride forms salt right and water and releases carbon dioxide carbon dioxide when it is reacting with calcium hydroxide so it turns into milky white color milky white so this is our equation for calcium again it should be included in the metal hydrogen carbonate same equation okay right after that neutralization reaction neutralization right simple lab activity is given in the textbook take a test tube add sodium hydrox hydroxide to the test tube okay wait a second sodium hydroxide to the test tube right after that to this test tube add two three drops of phenolphthalein solution which turns the solution to pink color right after that so now it is now the solution whatever is there it is in pink color okay now add acid hydrochloric diluted hydrochloric acid right slowly it turns into colorless solution right then again add sodium hydroxide to this test tube so what i am doing first it is there in sodium hydroxide what i did here i added phenolphthalein okay it so pink means pink means what is the nature of the solution that is base right it is base so we are checking the given solution is base what we are adding hydrochloric acid is it is acid what is there in the test tube it is base so when base acid is added to base it is turning into colorless solution so it acts as water right next what i am adding i am adding again sodium hydroxide to the test tube which turns again into pink color again it is gone to basic in nature right now from this what you are concluding when acid react with the base when acid react with the base so sodium hydroxide hydrochloric acid the reaction between base and acid so what we are getting again we here we have sodium chloride it forms salts right precipitation forms here salt sodium chloride and hydrogen sorry water right so water is colorless means that is water only now when base react with acid gives out salt plus water this is called neutralization reaction so, right if a person is suffering from acidity in your house what you will do okay uh, generally they take immediately eno right what is the nature of the eno it is basic in nature right what is there in stomach acid so what you are adding to stomach base so you are neutralizing the reaction what is happening when some precipitation may form here water right you are killing the uh, acidic nature right by adding base that is called neutralization reaction next what do acids have in common so from all the above, above activities when acid react with the metals releases hydrogen gas that is that is our first lab activity what is there zinc is reacting with the hydro hydrochloric acid what is it is giving zinc chloride plus hydrogen gas right it is releasing hydrogen gas right so hydrogen is common element in all acids hydrogen is common in all the acids right so next lab activity whether all compounds containing hydrogen or acids or not okay acid solution uh, this is one question for same lab activity we are having three different questions this is our first question second question third question for these three questions you have to write one single lab activity you have to follow the same procedure right little bit little bit change right whether all compounds containing hydrogen or acids are not we have to check for again for the same lab activity you may get this question acid solution in water conducts electricity or not right 
so acid solution conduct electricity or not we have to we are checking here right a test to know whether the acid is given given acid is strong or weak right so here <coughs> this is our seven lab activity seven see here page number 43 right so by seeing this picture only you can get idea electrolysis process right same process right take two graphite rods one act as connect them to the ac supply right through the bulb and switch now will bulb glow no what i am adding here is diluted hydrochloric acid only diluted hydrochloric acid what the solution given taken is diluted hydrochloric acid right these two are graphite rods okay next so now close the switch bulb starts glowing right now when switch on bulb glows means electricity is passing through the solution so <clears throat> before that what i am taking i am preparing four solution for four solutions right so what we are doing we i am preparing here glucose solution alcohol diluted hydrochloric acid and diluted sulfuric acid right so first you take what i am taking diluted hydrochloric acid to this beaker right now bulb starts glowing right right now empty the beaker add hydro sulfuric acid to this solution uh, beaker right now switch on the circuit bulb starts glowing means it is conducting electricity right between the graphite rods it is conducting electricity right in this case it is glowing here also it is glowing now empty the beaker add alcohol right so after switching on bulb will not glow in this situation so here bulb will not glow right glucose solution of now empty the beaker add glucose solution to the beaker now switch on the circuit will bulb glow no right so from this what you are concluding acids have ions the movement of these ions in solution help for flow of electric current through the solution right what, already we know that acids are having hydrogen in common right whenever they are in water they uh, act as h plus ions which uh, which are responsible for the conducting electricity right one more simple lab activity that is see here activity 8 do acids produce ions only in aqueous solution right activity 8 take a test tube add sodium chloride to this test tube next add sulfuric acid then immediately close the test tube with the uh, delivery tube right so when it is react with the sodium chloride react with the sulfuric acid it releases hydrogen gas and na2 is 44 now now this hydrogen gas try to escape from this uh, delivery tube right now bring uh, red litmus blue litmus paper right blue litmus paper to the near to the delivery tube so whatever i am getting here after seeing this equation sodium chloride react with sulfuric acid will release hydrochloric acid gas next sodium sulfate right so it tries to escape from the place right now what we are doing here i am bringing blue litmus paper near to the delivery tube will it turn into red now in this situation this blue litmus paper will not turn into red okay now in the second case what i am adding here i am adding water to the litmus paper blue litmus paper it is wet blue litmus paper now right so now it turns into red color first case so whatever we are getting here it is dry hydrochloric acid so that is the reason it is not turning blue litmus paper to red next in the second case when wet blue paper is blue litmus paper is brought near the delivery tube it turning into red color right in the whenever i added water to the litmus paper from this what you are concluding hcl gas evolved at delivery tube dis disassociates in the presence of water to produce h plus ions 
which are responsible for electric current uh, conduction of current and turns litmus paper to red color right next last simple topic uh, reaction of acid bases with water right whenever you add water to acid what will you call it as diluted acid right right what is the procedure to add water to the base or suppose i am i want to add water to acid so shall i add acid to water or water to acid procedure is take a test tube add water then only mix concentrated sulfuric acid to this test tube slowly means what i am adding acid is added to water not water is added to acid right so if you touch the bottom of the tube it is hot what type of process it is exothermic reaction right the process of dissolving acid or base in water is is a is an exothermic process right from this what you are concluding acid or acid must be added slowly to water right otherwise what will happen when you add water to the acid suppose if you have a container which is having full of acid here whenever you are adding water to this it's so we know that it's an exothermic process right huge amount of heat releases release heat energy is released at that time so because of that heat energy this glass may broken it easily breaks the glass right what it leads it may splash on us leads to burning right so that is the reason we are adding acid to water not water to acid right 